today we are going to venture so far away across the street right across the highway <laughs> <laughs> um, so the other day we were out with some subscribers and the, the question came up like what's our exit strategy yeah we don't know well we always said yeah we were kind of when, when we no longer want to move around a lot then we'll stop yeah but when we stop is it going to be still in an rv back in the sticks and bricks what's the plan and we were always kind of leaning toward like just getting a lot putting a slab Stay parking in the RV. rv that way we can still move when we want to yeah but right across the street from our rv park they have tiny houses yes mini mansion mini mansions <laughs> <laughs> so um we always like to keep and it our, has struck our interest yeah we like to keep our options open and they yeah. look really cool from the outside yeah so today we're going to go across the highway and we're going to look at some tiny houses and some mini mansions and see what the and you know hype is that way you know when we look to the future for our exit strategy yeah. whenever we get tired of doing the rv thing yeah, we can make an educated guess or a decision mm -hmm. on what we really want to do. Yeah. So, come along with us and see some tiny houses. What we just showed you was the mini mansions. Yes. So we didn't go into any of the other mobile homes or anything. No. We specifically wanted to look at the mini, mini. mansions. What'd you think? Loved it. <laughs> yeah, they're cool. That is a cool house. And and she was explaining to us that they come in lots of different options. You can customize them mm -hmm. with the different color schemes and materials. Yeah, you can do like tin roof or the shingles or there's yeah. just a bunch of lots different of options. options. Now the first one we went in wasn't set up for like show. No, it was they just were still working on stuff it. up. But and it, but it was still pretty cool. Yeah, and it, it only cool. had the porch on the one end. Yeah, just the front porch. And I didn't like the colors as well as the second one. What well, colors? Yeah, it's the but, uh, the layout is what you. you yeah, but the second at. one was cool. But well, yeah. how many square foot was it? Six hundred and twenty square feet on the inside. Yeah, and then it had the porches on both sides. Both sides. So you got the porch on the like the community the porch, living porch, camp. and they got the swing on it. And then on the other end is like the Porch personal off the bedroom. Uh, yeah, because yeah. it's one bedroom. Um, there are two bedroom options. They mm -hmm. didn't have any to show us. No, but they had the one. But bedroom. there are two bedroom, two bath. But what do you think about um, a tiny house being an option for later on in life? I think it's a it's a strong option. Yeah, I think so too. And even if we even if, we would still probably keep the RV, yeah. but we would just have like a home base with the tiny house mm -hmm. somewhere south south. <laughs> on a Four slab 
or something. Because I'd rather spend the winters yeah. in the south in a, in a little bit spacier, spacious of a home. Yeah. So. And then we just take the RV out summertime up north or whatever kind of mm -hmm. excursion we want to go on for however yeah. many months we want to go on it. Yeah. And then just have a home base it's back at the little tiny house. Yeah. So keeping our options open. So let us know in the comments if you would be open to being a tiny house person. Are you team tiny house? <laughs> or team RV? Or kind of like us where it could be like a hybrid between both. Yeah. Because tiny house is mobile. A mini mansion is not mobile. Yes. That has to be plop down. Yeah, you can't just take that all over the country. Yeah. It'll break. Y yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. I mean, she even said the ones here, they were manufactured in, in Dallas and moved over to San Antonio. And they'll move locally yeah. to a, a place. Within 50 miles, you yeah, can they have don't, it delivered. You don't want to move this thing to Illinois Yeah. from San Antonio. It'll be broken yeah. by the time you get there. But then the other thing to consider is you got to consider with the tiny house you got to consider land mm -hmm. location cost yeah. Yeah. of the land the infrastructure because mm -hmm. you're gonna have to run water and power yes. and um, sewer just like you would if you were buying any manufactured home to put on land yeah double wide whatever you, st you still have to yeah and if it's not the utilities you know yeah, if it's not improved land, you have to clear a little bit of it and mm -hmm. pay for that. And if it doesn't have a driveway, you pay for that. And mm -hmm. So there's, there's, there's costs cost. to think about. Yeah. The good thing is, we got a long time. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're going to be still <laughs> RVing for a while. Yeah. But, it's, but while we're traveling, we want to start thinking about exit plan. Yeah. And start researching. We're planners. Play with the numbers. Know which states got cheaper land. <laughs> yeah. Tax. Yeah. Is, issues, you know, which which states are cheaper on tax, which states are more military friendly. Because we know just from having the house we sold, we lit, we were in county, we weren't in a city. Exactly. And property tax is way different. Yeah. So you have to consider. And all we want to be eventually when we do something like this, we want to be close to a, a town. Yeah, close enough. Not like a for convenience Dollar General <laughs> and Hunt Brothers Pizza town, <laughs> like. Walmart and restaurants Walmart. town. <laughs> yes. Not drastically. Yeah. Well, we don't want to be like in that, but we want to be at least, you know, like 10 to 15 minutes. From yeah. There. No worse than what we left, yeah. really. I'd like to be closer. We were 30 minutes yeah, away. We I'd like to be closer. Yeah, that's why I say no worse than yeah. what we had. And we'd also like to be on water somewhere. Yes. Whether it's God put their water or we got to put it there. Yeah. <laughs> so lake, water will be involved. River, ocean, or. We build our own pond, pond if we have to, which is probably the cheaper option because you're, if you buy any land on a lake or a river, you're it's paying, gonna be expensive. You're paying for that luxury. Yeah. You're paying for the same And then area. you always got the threat of flood, yeah. which increases your insurance too because you're gonna have to get flood insurance. Mm -hmm. So you wanna probably put your own pond. I don't know how much that costs. That probably cost a pretty penny too, but. I just want to be able to walk out That's of the it. backyard and go fishing. Yeah. Water is very peaceful, tranquil, relaxing. Yeah. And just seeing it and being near Nice it. to just sit on the back porch, drink your coffee, look at the water, water. or yeah. wildlife that's around the water, water. birds, turtles, fish, whatever, whatever. it may be. Because yeah. um, that always attracts wildlife. Yes, it will. And it attracts snakes too. But we got guns and stuff. <laughs> just blast them off. <laughs> I have decapitated a rattlesnake. Yeah, so she has done that. I do what I gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> but it was cool. The uh, it, it was cool that, that they let us see those those houses. Yes. Um, took their time to let us walk through there, let us record, and so. Uh, and, it, and it is different than walking in to a mobile home because it's not built like a mobile home. No, it's built on a it's, on a frame. It's built like on a mobile frame. Yeah, but you're. Your walls are home walls. They're yes. not you, not like RV wall and mobile home walls. That kind of yeah. It, they're walls. They're well constructed walls. Yeah, like sheetrock and wood. <laughs> yeah. So you get that very home. This is a permanent. Home. Yeah, and actually, I liked the way they had it set up. Yeah. And the the huge uh, the windows. The windows make 
such a difference. A ton of light getting in there. Yeah, when you've got basically ceiling to floor windows. It was just really nice. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, for us now, because we live in how many square feet now? Like 325, yeah. 350 tops. So that's like double what yeah. we got. It felt huge. Yeah. That, that tiny house felt huge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you start saying 620 square feet like, was whoa. massive, <laughs> it is weird to hear and say. <laughs> but the porches make it feel a little bit bigger too. Yeah. Because that's it. still living space. Yeah, for us that's living space. Yeah, because we're outside a lot. Yeah. Um, anyway, and it's an option, so let us know if what you think about the tiny house, if you liked it, and let us know what you, what you think about uh, it being an option, an option later on. If you're an RVer, would you go tiny after your RV life? Or are you going to be in your RV forever? Yeah. Or are you going to go back to sticks and bricks? I don't see us ever going back to a sticks and bricks house like house. traditional. No. Because I don't want a clean one. No, like, but I'll never say never because... I'm done with the maintenance and the slave to the cleaning. Yeah, but I'll never say never because we still could go back to a sticks and bricks. It wouldn't be a big one. No, it would be it a It would tiny be a, a tiny... <laughs> home not a tiny house, house not a mini mansion yeah <laughs> yeah well we hope you enjoyed seeing the tiny house and uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero and we'll see you next time bye bye